Hi, uh, this this array of parts uh, represents hopefully what is going to be a new transceiver in the shack. It's a, a pixie kit, a 40 meter CW uh, transceiver, capable up to uh, up to one watt on a fixed frequency. Um, now I haven't made a kit or soldered anything in terms of circuit boards and so on for what will be decades. So this should be fun. The kit I got probably over a year ago now from ham goodies it was a a purchase an impulse purchase while i was buying some other things i thought well for, i think it was five pound uh and i was already paying the postage and packing why not i thought anyway so it sat idle for for what must be a year now so what you get in the kit is a brief ov overview and you get a, a parts list uh, which i'm gonna have to go through because uh, i've got to identify what all these are uh, a picture of the circuit board and a circuit diagram on the back as well. So the circuit board, not that I'm an expert in such things, it looks good quality, looks well made uh, and you can see there all the uh, items are identified, the capacitors, uh, that diode there showing the cathode end and so on. Um, so that looks okay. Um, so we've got resistors, some inductors, variable resistor, some connections, the crystal, which is set at 7.023 megahertz, I think. Uh, some capacitors, diodes, transistors, electrolytic capacitors, uh, an integrated circuit, which I think is the audio amplifier. Um, yeah, so so that's it. Uh, the, the challenge I'm gonna have to find is, well, getting a second pair of reading glasses for, for double magnification to to read these colour codes and then look them up uh, on the internet to see what values they are to match them to the components list. Uh, similarly, reading the, the tiny, tiny numbers on the back of these capacitors, uh, and probably even smaller, uh, the identification number on the diodes. So, uh, sorry, on the transistors. So, yeah, uh, looking forward to building it. Hopefully, it'll work. Uh, it's not going to be a step-by-step -step solder guide of all these parts, uh, so we'll probably fast forward over that bit, but uh, hopefully uh, you'll see this working in the end. And uh, this, the equally scary bit is my, my Morse is, is pretty dire. Uh, I haven't touched it for a few more years since my last Morse video, and I hadn't touched it for 30 years before that, so um, Morse could be the challenge. But hopefully, fingers crossed, we'll get it working. So to start with, with a colour chart off the internet, it was a case of identifying uh, the inductors, these resistors, uh, and it was quite hard with some of the colours that were on there. Uh, zooming in to see the codes on the on the transistors, and reading the uh, the numbers on the the capacitors. And so as not to lose the order of which was which, I've stuck them in order on some tape. So there were some basic instructions provided with the kit, but it was a case of adding components in a in a suggested order. Uh, this just made it easier for installation. Checking orientation as you go, diodes, capacitors, uh, and checking solder joints as well. Uh, and this is the reverse of my board for anyone who's feeling picky. So the pixie kit's complete. Uh, I've checked the back of the board, it all seems okay. So I've plugged in um, a Morse key, a pair of headphones, and uh, the antenna socket goes through the meter uh, to a, well to one and a half kilowatt dummy load, which I don't think we'll need today, but there you go. Um, so if um, turn on the meter, yeah, I'll just prop it up with something. Uh, hang on. Uh, battery in. Hopefully, hopefully one will bang. Right, we're live. Let me listen to the headphones. I can hear a faint white noise. I'll put it on the microphone, but I guess this won't pick it up. Don't know whether you could hear that. Uh, so, uh, key up. One what? No, happy with that. Uh, I think it started off on the spec as 800 milliwatts for, for 9 volts. It is a new battery though. 
Um, so, right, so if I spin the camera around and if we fire up the 5000, down the CW end. Uh, so if I key up the pixie, oh, that seems to be working. So I do the And uh, there we go. This is into the dummy load. That seems to be working fine. So, uh, transmit works now we need to do a, a receive test right so now I've got the um, pixie plugged into you just see down there into the uh, main off center fed dipole um, which is resonant on 40 under the bands so we plug it in all right that's quite loud that so headphones again so definitely receiving okay Let me, yeah that's loud in here could do with a bit of volume control does that work as a volume control no i'm sure you can hear that um there's a variable resistor on the board which I think chooses frequency let's have a look yeah because you go a little bit either side if you wanted to so success, successful tests I would say so we're back with uh, a speaker plugged in this stand and you can hear that there's a distinct hum on the receive uh, there's no side tone when you're keying so there's no no tone to to listen to uh, and that click uh, of transmit uh, if you had he headphones on is quite uh, quite a, a sharp click in your ears so that could be quite annoying no volume control um, hey it's a very basic design so the the challenge now is uh, an on-air test i might have to um, get the cooperation of a local amateur uh, to uh, to well to bear with my really shocking moss i'm sure uh, but also just to to get out on the air first oh you never know it might get further um, so that's that's next i think
there's more simple construction and operating videos on this channel if you like subscribe and remember to hit the bell you'll be notified of when new videos are released 73